Who is Midas? First introduced back in Chapter 2, Season 2, Midas is a genius crime boss who, similar to the king from Greek mythology that he shares a name with, has the ability to turn any object he touches into gold if he so chooses. As yes, this Midas has full control over his golden touch. Midas is also a father to at least one daughter named Jules, who is a genius engineer in her own right. There's also another woman in his life named Marigold, who could either be his other daughter or his sister, but there is no confirmation as to the identity of Marigold as of right now. Midas' background outside of this information is relatively unknown, but it is also implied that he is more than likely an ex-employee of the Imagined Order, which is why he has a great understanding of the loop and how it works. Which brings us to his main story in Chapter 2 Season 2, Midas wanted to destroy the loop and escape Reality Zero, but to achieve this he would need to distract the Imagined Order who at this point in time had full control over the island. So Midas came up with a plan to split his hidden organization into two factions, which he named Ghost and Shadow respectively. He then appointed leaders to each of these factions and had the two groups start a fake war with each other. By doing this, he was able to get the whole island involved in the chaos as the Loopers began to choose sides in joining what they believed was a real fight for the island. During this chaos, Midas secretly worked underneath his agency on a device that remained a mystery until the day he activated it. The device rose from the agency and destroyed the loop, allowing for him to escape to the Imagine Order's headquarters in this special suit he made. However, his victory was short-lived, as not long after he encountered Agent John Jones, his device began to fail for unknown reasons, and he was sent back to the island, and the Imagine Order in their moment of panic replaced the storm with a giant tsunami until they could repair the loop. Eventually, this wave flooded the entire island, which led to the events of Chapter 2 Season 3, which opened up with Midas being eaten by a shark, ultimately meeting his end. Or was it? It was confirmed by Donald Mutzer that this accident actually happened inside of the loop, meaning Midas came back 22 minutes later during its next rotation. But if Midas is alive, where has he been? Well, in the later half of Chapter 2, Midas was actually able to escape the loop and return to the real island. His story then resumed during the summer event in Chapter 2 Season 7, where he decided to for once in his life be an actual father and fix his relationship with his daughter Jules, which had been damaged due to his actions with the device. The two spent a summer vacation together and were once again on good terms with each other. Jules then agreed to help Marigold keep her father hidden from the Imagined Order for the time being, allowing for him to plan out his next big scheme. But from here, Midas' story is just fuzzy. We know at some point in time he formed a new team team called the First Shadows, which are said to be his most skilled agents. On top of that, he once again destroyed his relationship with Jules somehow, to the point where she wants absolutely nothing to do with him. But the unfortunate truth of Midas' story is that at the time of this recording, it remains incomplete. But hopefully one day he returns to Fortnite's storyline, as he's both a fan favorite and an overall really interesting character that could act as a great antagonist for Fortnite going forward.